In this case, the information is in tabular form and the information is regarding the usage of three types of SOP. SOP X, SOP Y, SOP Z. You can take this as names or three brands of SOPs. And there are two types of users, male users as well as female users. The interpretation of the entire data is these 10 are male users of SOP X. Or among the users of SOP X which are 40, 10 are males. Any number can be, in, 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 can be interpreted in two ways. Male users of SOP X 10 or among the 40 users of X 10 are male. Or out of 60 males, 10 are users of SOP X. And in this way, all numbers 10, 20, 30, 20, 10 and 30 can be interpreted. All numbers have two dimensions or two references. Now, so far as the table is concerned, these are actually favorable number of cases for happening of any particular event. Say this 60 is favorable cases for event A, any customer or user being made. This 60 is favorable cases for event B, any customer or user being female. Similarly, 40 are favorable cases for happening of event C, any user of SOP X. Similarly, 30 and 50 are favorable cases for D and E respectively. From this, we can prepare a table which is known as joint probability and marginal probability matrix. For that purpose, we just have to divide the favorable number of cases by the total number of cases. But before that, we are actually going to assign or to use sign to all these as favorable cases, say these favorable, sorry, these 10 cases are favorable to A intersection C, these 30 are favorable to B intersection C, and these 40 are favorable to event C. In the same way, 20 are favorable to A intersection D, 10 are favorable to B intersection D, and these 30 are favorable to event D. These 30 are favorable to A intersection E. These 20 are favorable to B intersection E. And 50 are favorable to E. These 60 cases are favorable to event A. And these 60 are favorable to B. And this can be said N. Total number of possible outcomes. Say if any one out of these 120 persons is drawn at random, what is the probability that the person is a male? So that probability will be 60 divided by 120. Same way, what is the probability that the person is a male user of SOP Y? So it will be 20 divided by 120. In that way, we can calculate all six joint probabilities and all five marginal probabilities. Let us write the probabilities 1 by 12, 10 by 120, that means 1 by 12. This is P of A intersection C. This is 20 by 120 or 1 by 6 is probability of A intersection D. 30 by 120 or 1 by 4 is the joint probability of A and E, probability of A intersection E. 60 divided by 120, that means 1 by 2 is probability of A. Actually, this 1 by 2 is also nothing but summation of these three probabilities. 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4. If we simplify that equation, it will be ultimately 1 by 2. Similarly, 30 divided by 120, so 1 by 4 is probability of B intersection C. 10 by 120 or 1 by 12 is probability of B intersection D. 20 by 120 or 1 by 6 is probability of A intersection E. Again 60 by 120, that means 1 by 2 is probability of B. 40 divided by 120 or 1 by 3 is probability of C. 30 divided by 120 or 1 by 4 is probability of D. And 50 divided by 120 or 5 by 12 is probability of E. And grand total always come to 
one. You can draw a separate table too and write just marginal probabilities and joint probabilities also. With reference to this table, we can say that P of A equals to P of A intersection C plus P of A intersection D plus P of A intersection E. Same way we can interpret probability of B, probability of C, suppose probability of C is probability of C equals to P of A intersection C plus P of B intersection C and so on. We can get interpretation of all these five marginal probabilities in this way or in similar way. Now, we have six joint probabilities and five marginal probabilities. In examination, the paper setter, the or the examiner can give you the original table with only favorable number of cases and can ask any of these probabilities, calculation of these 6 plus 5, 11 probabilities. But on the other hand, we have 6 joint probabilities and 5 marginal probabilities. So we can calculate 6 into 2 because A intersection C divided by P of A, P of A intersection C divided by P of C, it will give us 2 conditional probabilities. So each cell containing joint probability can give us two conditional probabilities. So 6 into 2, ultimately we can calculate 12 conditional probabilities. The interesting topic is interpretation of the conditional probabilities. Let us calculate one conditional probability, say P of A given C. P of A given C. The formula is P of A intersection C divided by P of C. The answer can be A intersection C is 1 by 12 divided by P of C is 1 by 3. That means 1 by 12 into multiplication of inverse 3 by 1. So ultimately answer comes to 1 by 4. Now, in other way too, we can calculate the same probability. P of A intersection C. First of all, let us understand the point. P of A intersection C, the formula is P of A intersection C upon P of C. P of A given C. Now, what is the formula of P of A intersection C? The case is favorable to A intersection C divided by total number of cases. And what is P of C? Case is favorable to C divided by total number of cases. Again, multiplication with the inverse, cancellation of N and N. So ultimately, P of A given C is case is favorable to A intersection C divided by case is favorable to C. More or less same type of formula is there. Now, what is the value of favorable cases for A, C? It is 10. What is the cases favorable to C? They are 40. So it is 10 by 40. Ultimately, it is 1 by 4. This is the alternative way to get the solution of the same probability. You can directly calculate the conditional probability with the help of cases favorable to these two probabilities. So, it is not necessary to prepare the table of joint probabilities as well as marginal probabilities to get the answers of required probabilities. Directly on the basis of the table containing only favorable number of cases, we can calculate any probability. Got it? Yes? Now, we are interested in the exact interpretation of the conditional probability. What do we mean by probability of A given C in this particular case. 
through this formula actually it is not easy to give the answer of this question but through this formula we can easily get the interpretation of p of a given c yes what is this tan it is cases favorable to a intersection c but what is the exact interpretation through the table so this is actually male users of soft x tan are male users of soft x and 40 are so the total number of users of so uh, x okay 10 divided by 40 that means this is the ratio of 10 to 40 now what is 10 10 is male users of x and 40 is total numbers of users of x covered under the survey so this is the ratio of male users among the users of so x out of total users covered under the survey of SOAP X, 10 are males. This is the ratio of that. Now compare this with the probability of P of C given A. P of C given A. Let us calculate this with that type of formula. A intersection C or C intersection A divided by A. What will be the answer? Again it is 10 but divided by 60. So the answer is 1 by 6. Now what is the interpretation? Again, same 10 is there. What is this 10? It is number of male users of SOAP X. Now what is this 60? It is the total number of males covered under the survey. That means this is the ratio of 10 to 60. That means this is the ratio of users of SOAP X against the total number of males covered under the survey. So we can interpret in this case P of C given A is the ratio of users of SOP X among the males. This is ratio of males among the users of SOP X. This is the ratio of users of SOP X among the males. So this is actually say example of two cases. Through the use of A intersection C, we can calculate two different conditional probabilities. Probability of A given C as well as probability of C given A. We are using A intersection C commonly. So each and every out of six joint probabilities can be used for the calculation of two different conditional probabilities. But the main point is interpretation of conditional probability. Now just imagine we calculate P of B given C. What will be the formula of B given C? B intersection C divided by C. So the calculation will show us 30 divided by 40. So this is the ratio of females among the users of SOAP X. This is the ratio of females among the users of SOAP X. Now what will be the interpretation of say C given B? So C given B, the calculation will be B intersection C divided by B. So the calculation will show 30 divided by 60, 1 by 2 will be the final answer. But what is the interpretation? It is the proportion of users of SOP X among females. Out of females, 50% or half are using SOP X. But out of users of SOP X, 75% are females. These are the two different interpretations of two different conditional probabilities but calculated with the same joint probability. So the base of comparison or base of calculation of ratio is different. In 30 divided by 40, the base of ratio is 40. In 30 divided by 60, the base of ratio is 60. Interpretation of any conditional probability is done in this particular way. Okay?